It's really cute that they gave him a helmet, but there's really no saving him from me. Max speed launch. Not really feeling the effort from the guy pushing the cart, but then again I'd rather be the guy pushing than in the cart because we're gonna launch him into the air and send him as far as we possibly can while doing fun tricks. If he lands on his wheels, he gets to survive. So we made it a distance of 4800 with a height of 952, which means we've earned $1887. It really wants me to buy style, I don't think I want to buy style. What I want is for this man to crash on his head and explode while still making me a lot of money. If we could do that for the next 4 hours, I would be a very happy person. Similar stats to last time, but that's because we haven't upgraded anything yet, but we're about to buy speed tires. And just so that I don't have a seizure, we're gonna buy style as well. So bearing in mind that we didn't have the greatest of launch, we're gonna make it just a little bit further than we did before. We even made it to a trailer! That's a new record, but we're gonna be seeing that a lot because I'm amazing at torturing people. I'm looking at you, rockets. You know what we haven't tried yet? Run flips, they're probably worth even more. But it's nice to see some diversity from our little idiot. $4,800 to our name, that means we're gonna get rockets. I don't know how those work, he doesn't know how those work, but that's not a me problem. Oh, they launch him down the ramp and then into the air. So we should be getting more distance than ever before. And we landed wheels side up again. He's getting so good at jumping. This was definitely a new record. We went way past the trailer for a distance of 8,560, which means we could buy a whole bunch of things. Let's try jumper. We don't need to talk about my launch, but we do need to see how this jumping thing works. Oh, interesting. Okay, so what is that worth? I probably need to leave him in the cart when he touches the ground. Still made money though. His sacrifice is my gain. So naturally, we're going to escalate a little bit. I'm going to put him upside down and then do a jumper. That's got to be worth more points. So we'll throw another backflip in for good measure. And we'll cruise past the trailer. Nothing exciting here stats-wise, but I was hoping for big money. So I guess we'll settle for better tires for now. This should be a new record. He's going to get a rocket boost, and then we got super speed tires on for when he actually touches down again. Yep, he's moving quick now. We have another point of interest. Octopuses on rocks. Or is it octopi? Distance 10,700, which gave me the money I need for more style, but I want more rockets. I don't care about style. Either way, he's going to die in horrible fashion. I don't care how he looks doing it. And I'm feeling pretty lazy, so backflips are probably going to be the name of the game for him for a little while. $9,200, which means we could spend 8,500 of those on rockets. Okay, I want to see terminal velocity or better. We gave him a pretty good start. We need a better pusher. That's what we need. Bigger rockets means bigger fire, which means more speed, which means he's really getting airborne. I think we just passed like an owl or something. This is going to be a new record because we're past the silos. And we're just creeping along at an annoyingly slow pace. Definitely making some pretty good money every run, so we're going to add a little bit of style, which I guess is just a hat. But if he wants something that's less safe than a helmet, he can have it. Not that he really uses his brain for much. In fact, it's probably better he doesn't have one. He'll be a little bit lighter and probably travel a little bit further because of it. And that, of course, means more money for me. Double backflip, and we're going to do one of these, and we're going to swing him around so he lands wheel side down. And that's another new record, 13,000. So we'll allow him to have Superman at this point. I got a horrible launch. But that's good news for him, because now he can Superman into the ground at a slightly slower speed than he otherwise would have, exploding into a million pieces. I'm getting paid far too well to murder stick people, but I do love my job. Okay, so let's give him a little correction and let him Superman a little bit, and then we'll put him back on his wheels for the, when he touches the ground. So then it's just a matter of saving up for better tires or better rockets, and we're probably going to go for the rockets first. This will be a new record, and I just realized it probably makes a difference uh, on how he hits the ground, like the angle of his cart. It actually wasn't a new record, but it's got to be close. But the money for that is pretty big. We're over $10,000 again. And we can get the bat. Is that a baseball bat? I don't even want to question it. I just want to click on it. What does this do? We have a bat. And I'm very curious to see what this does. I think we're going to have to put him in the air first. That's fine. He loves being in the air. Okay, so what does the bat do? Apparently nothing. Maybe we need to hit the ground. Nice and level. Then we can use the bat. Look at him go. He's just going to smash anything in front of him. I don't know who we're able to smash yet, but I can't wait to find out. And we're now able to make it like two thirds of the way home. I don't know why we're trying to get home in a flying shopping cart, but I approve the method. And we made over $15,000, which means I could buy a better cart, but I want bigger rockets. Mostly because I assume this basic shopping cart is the most dangerous of any of them. So the bigger the rocket we attach to it, the more danger our little friend is going to be in. But we're also going to make more money because this is a big launch. Didn't know those were up there. But I'm pretty happy that they are. The more ways for my stick people to die, the happier I'll be. Uh, unless they start getting in my way more and more. 
Okay, as long as I'm not hitting them, I'm happy they're there for now. That was close. Oh, let's land back on the wheels. That was a really big jump. We landed at the silos. And we're going to continue on smashing coins until we get to whatever's next. We're just about at the halfway mark. So that means we're going to make pretty good money. We went 17,000 whatevers to make $7,700. And a few runs later, we saved up 17,000, which is enough for maybe a better cart. This one seems less aerodynamic, and I'm a little disappointed about that. But let's see how it is in the air. So far, we seem to be hitting massive height, and I just ducked under one of those big blades. But it looks pretty good once it hits the ground too. We're hopping over some of the coins, but I don't think they're worth a huge amount compared to what the sky is. That pushes up to 18,300 for 8,100 coins, which means better speed tires. So that means once I hit the ground, I take off like a rocket for some reason, and I'm not going to complain. 24,000 feet, $10,000 from a single run. So we're going to add some style. Well, that just looks a lot better now, doesn't it? I don't know if we get rewarded more for wearing a crown, but we should. He's king of the morons. And probably about to have a very gruesome death. But we're going to go for one more backflip and then touch down and off we go. For another new record and 10,000 more coins. So let's buy some friends. Oh, I get a dummy to ride in a cart with me. I feel sorry for that guy. I don't know if this is a benefit, but it sure is funny that this guy is just kind of passed out in the front. Let's see how he likes dying. And... First blast. Fun. And I really shouldn't, but I'm gonna buy the backflip for 15,000. I wonder if my dead friend wants to help me out with doing backflips. Uh, interesting. He's got about a 50% chance of dying on any one of these. Which way am I going? This way. Got it. But I am also kind of curious as to how many people I can squeeze into a single shopping cart. One, frankly, is too many. Two is just a lot of fun. And I don't know what the benefit of having a second guy in here is, but there doesn't need to be one, really. Lunching again. Been grinding a little bit to save up just a little more money. Just so I can save up $39,000 to buy some more friends. Now I have more than I have in real life. But now I have two people forced to be in a shopping cart with me. Both look like they're passed out, and that's probably all for the best. They don't want any part of this. You'd think murdering three people would be worth more than $200, though. So having two extra idiots in a cart doesn't really seem to make much of a difference other than that there's now three idiots in a cart. Because the distance on a pretty good jump is 25,000, which is a new record, but not by much. We actually made less money than we did before. So I paid to have more friends, which actually makes me less money. This time for fun, I threw in a few of the flip tricks to hopefully make a little bit more money to make up for all this dead weight I'm carrying around. And again, I made even less money somehow. Now, what we're going to upgrade are the rockets, because rockets are my favorite, so we're at max rockets. And that's great news for these guys. Y you guys holding on? Uh, pretty good launch. We'll make this work. Now the trick is not to hit the razor blades in the sky, because we hit those quite often, but that's a lot of fire. There we go, off into space right past oh we're literally going out of the screen now wow these new rockets are much better than the ones before then we're gonna land wheels side down and rocket forward this will definitely be a new record there's another trailer over here a couple of houses even we're three quarters of the way 80 percent of the way there which is thirty thousand feet for a total of fourteen thousand dollars but i do kind of want to see what a fifty thousand dollar shopping cart looks like so that shouldn't take more than just a few minutes so now we're going to send him back into space. Uh, we're going to make him do this Superman while he's at it, because why not? And maybe one more just before touching back on the ground. That was awfully risky. I lost a little bit of distance because of my stupidity, but that's nothing out of the ordinary. But we got a max bar here, so this should be a good jump. Hold on, you guys. I wouldn't want you to fall out. Don't know what I'd do without my good friends in the cart. Definitely out of frame for more than a few seconds. And we're going to quit while we're ahead and try and land wheel side down. That's a pretty good boost. Probably be swinging my bat at all the coins, or just the air in general. If they were with real friends, they'd be swinging a bat for me. And just like that, we're up to $58,000, which means we can afford a $50,000 recyclable shopping cart, and there's a gold one for 100 Why must games do this to me? They keep offering me bigger and bigger rewards that probably don't do a single thing to improve my character. But I can't help myself, I'm just stupid like that. Well, at least we can still buy better wheels, which won't prevent, uh the horrible death of the stick figures, but they will make me faster if I do make it to the ground. That makes me wonder where we're getting all these people from, because there seems to be no shortage of supply of stickmen to sacrifice. 24,625, 375 short of buying the speed tires. But that just means we get to launch them one more time, and in fact they can probably even hit the razor blades and I'll still make enough money. Though hilariously I only get $12 for that because they hit the first blade in existence. 
And that's not nearly as fun, because they hit it so soon, I want them to fly through the sky in absolute terror before hitting a razor blade. If they hit it too soon, it's all over too quick. The best tires, the best rockets, and a non-gold cart, but I feel like this will be pretty quick. That's like 96% of a max launch, so provided we don't hit any razor blades, we're going to hit a very high speed once we touch the ground again. So far so good, we're avoiding everything. The way down can be a bit iffy too, but we're going to have a nice even landing. And there we go at a very high speed. Jumping through the air even, look at that. We're like three quarters of the way to the house and still in the air. All thanks to the power of friendship. But we're not going to make it there yet, so clearly I need the golden cart. Or just friends that can actually help. $18,000 for that one. And here's an absolutely maximum launch, so we should get marginally farther than last time, but probably still not all the way to the house. I think I gave one of my friends a haircut with that razor blade. Maybe I just need to be hitting more things with my bat. Will that give me more speed? I'm so close to the house though, you could just get out and walk from there. Or I could get my friends to push me, since I gave them a ride this far. Actually, with these speed wheels, we might actually be able to make it, because every time I hit the coins, I get a little boost. 44541 I think 50000 is the end. That was worth $21,765, though. And I just realized for the first time, I can use the arrow keys if I want to spin, and I can do tricks with the mouse then, so I could have combining, could have been combining all these the entire time to get extra, extra points. Yeah, there we go. That should be worth something. Whoa, okay, you spin very quickly with the arrow keys. Three quarters of the way to the golden cart. So instead of doing tricks and knocking my crown off, I'm just going to do backflips at an alarming rate until I hit the ground again. And once again, hilariously, I am 107 coins short of 100,000. So let's just go for a little jump for once. What happens if we go minimum speed? Do we still go pretty far, actually? Interesting. So we could probably just go splat again if we want to. Never mind. When I try to screw up, I actually can't because I'm just that much of a screw up. Anyways, what we have now is $100,000 we need for the golden shopping cart, and even the $22,000 we need for the hand take. I feel like we don't need the hand take, but we do need the golden shopping cart, so with a 99% launch, I think we got this in the bag. Using my maximum power rockets, and then back flipping straight into the razor blades. Let me tell you, that never gets old. There's a maximum power though, so this one will be better. Provided we don't hit razor blades at any point. We're just gonna backflip over the moon and then touch down again shortly. Nope. Never mind. And I think we're actually clear for landing for once. Okay, now we're rocketing forward thanks to our golden shopping cart. Look how high we are, just from a little bump in the ground. Yeah, this will take us home for sure. We're still moving at a pretty good pace. Though I will still be smacking coins whenever I can because we might just need that little bit of boost to get us there. Do I get extra points for bringing my passed out friends home? Is that what this is about? Seriously, are we not gonna make it? I have all the upgrades, what more do you want from me? Do I need to smack more coins? Maybe you just want more tricks? Maybe tri I lost my crown again. I don't know, I'm just very confused. You think all the upgrades would have me rocketing to the end, but we're still not making it. So I'm going to smack coins as much as I can. And so far I've hit like five of them, which is five more than I normally hit. Though our speed is slowing down and we're like 90% of the way there. And this is an absolutely max power launch. I'm not really doing any tricks at all. I just want to land straight on the wheels for maximum speed, hopefully. And then we're going to try and hit coins along the way. I assume that's what the bat is for, to give me a little speed boost uh, whenever I get my damn wheels on the ground so I can hit things. This might work depending on the bumps between here and there. If I could find another coin, I'd feel better about my odds because we're starting to slow down like a lot. Must make it to the coin. Maybe I needed to hit one more along the way. Come on, keep rolling, you can do it. There's the house. Oh, I think we did it. We just barely made it, but we did it. We got home in a shopping cart with my two drunk friends. Game complete.